Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Got an interesting follow-up to a, an assertion I made about using um, uh, UV resistant rope for guy wires and uh, I'll show you what that looks like a little bit I've got some right over here <clears throat> this came with the cobweb antenna and it's a nice black nylon non-stretching rope and Bill Rossi Let's see if he's got a yeah, KA1QYP said that uh, I might look at paracord because uh, paracord's a little less expensive than this UV resistant rope and it is less expensive. So there is uh, a place called paracordwholesaleshop.com. Okay, paracordwholesaleshop.com and I will We'll put this at the bottom of the uh, video in the comments. Okay, so I ordered some. In fact, I ordered quite a bit of it. And we're going to start a test. Now note that this is thinner. This is actual parachute cord, okay? It's thinner than this other stuff. You can see right there, it's thinner. All right, and this is supposedly mil spec, so we're just going to check inside and see what's inside of this. Okay, there is an outer sheath that you can see here, okay that protects the things that are inside and there are supposed to be seven strands one two three four five six seven seven strands in there okay each one is weight bearing one, two three four five six seven okay and then the outer sheath holds it in place and holds everything together and this stuff is twisted together so we're going to start a long-term test of this he's saying that this is UV resistant. Now I've had some UV resistant uh, cord holding up my antennas for a long time and it clearly works. It works very well. But what we're, we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of this and hang it outside in the sun, okay? This is going to be a long-term comparison. We'll check on it every few months to see how well it's holding up. So I'm going to grab here Not that much of it. Cut it. Now one way to prevent this from fraying is just simply to tie a little knot in it like this. Okay. And keep that from fraying. So we'll do that same thing on this end here. Because this outer sheath is kind of stretched. Now paracord is designed of course for parachutes and this is supposedly if you believe the website Millspec parachute cord in an olive drab you can get it in just any color you want uh, and modern uh, parachuting is a sport and those parachutes need to be maintained and new paracord cord put in uh, when needed and so on and they have a definite lifetime so let's go outside and hang this up now right here I have two antennas that are held up by UV resistant cord that's my um, it's like a spider beam it's called a hex beam and the cord itself is quite thin. You can just see it right underneath where the rotator is there. And over here on this one, we also have this held up by UV resistant cord. And I know for a fact that it works very, very well. Okay. 
So we're going to put this out here. And I'm going to see if I can get this all the way over the top of that. Almost. That's close enough right there. Okay, this is going to hang in the sun now. It gets sun all day, uh, winter, summer. And uh, make note that we're putting it up in mid-July 2022. Okay, so we'll come back and test it every so often and see how strong it is. I want to show you some rope that we've put up that's not very good. This rope, look at that. I'm going to turn it over. See the difference in color? It's been bleached out. It feels kind of stiff, but I think it's all there. It's all working for us. This is the guy wire, guy rope rather, for the DX Commander antenna, which goes right here, but it's not in right now. But this simple rope uh, does fairly well. This is. Uh, cheap so-called parachute cord you can see again the difference in the the color where it's been in the Sun uh, it's being attacked by the ultraviolet rays of the Sun so there we have it we're gonna do a long-term test on this to see how well it resists uh, sunlight and UV and up here at 7,000 feet, we get plenty of UV. So, in the meantime, please check out decastler.com slash support. Look at Patreon. Please subscribe. It tells YouTube that this is a good channel. And until we next meet, 73.